On today's Fast Friday, we're talking Double Tap. Hi everyone, welcome to Pal to Tech. Today we're talking about a little known feature on your Fujifilm camera. And I'm actually quite surprised that more people don't know about it. It's a way of checking your focus by double tapping the screen. Here's how it works. As you know, if you are in single or manual focus mode, while you're aiming your camera at your subject, press the rear command dial one time, like this and you'll see that the camera zooms in about two and a half times. You can then fine tune your focus by turning the focus ring and it's easier to see it because you're zoomed in. Once you're in focus and everything looks good, you can either press the shutter release button halfway down to exit out of that view, or you could simply take the shot. Another thing that you can do is zoom in even further by rotating the rear command dial. Check this out. I'm aiming at my subject like this. I am now pressing the rear command dial one time, boom. Okay, now to zoom in even further, I can rotate the rear command dial with my thumb, just like this. Look at that. And you can go back and forth by just rotating the rear command dial, just like that. And if you want to exit the view, you can also press the rear command dial, boom, and it takes you back to normal. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use this in not only manual, but in single autofocus mode as well. However, if you are in single autofocus mode, this will not work in either zone or wide tracking. See these right here? Either of these, it will not work. You must be in single point in order for it to work. And keep in mind that it will work in all. However, remember that all allows you to scroll through everything. So if you set it to all and you happen to be in single point, then you can use it. You're good to go. But anything else and it will not work. Okay, with that out of the way, let me now show you double tap. You can find this in your menu in the wrench area under button dial setting. And you should see something that looks like touch screen setting. Keep in mind that older cameras like the X-T2 will not have this setting. Okay, so in touch screen setting, have a look at this, double tap setting. You see that right there? Go ahead and turn that on. Okay, so now that you have it on, you can double tap to zoom in all the way to check your focus and you don't need to use the rear command dial. So why would you wanna do that? Well, maybe your camera is in a cage or it's got something blocking the rear command dial and it's just easier to get to the screen. Or maybe you've got the screen on, say, the X-T4 flipped around, right? And you're standing in front of the camera and you want to do it that way. So again, you simply compose your shot, take your finger and go boop, boop, just like that. Look at that. And then you can simply rotate your focus ring to get your shot in focus. Now, another thing that's very cool about this is if you set it ahead of time to that extra zoomed in five times view, right? Watch, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to use the rear command dial. I'm going to zoom in once, then I'm going to rotate using my thumb like I showed you earlier. Boom, just like that, okay? I'm gonna go back out. Now, watch what happens when I double tap. Boom, boom. Look at that. It remembers the zoom in <laughs> that you had set and it takes your camera viewfinder right back to that. And by the way, it'll work in both the viewfinder and the LCD screen. Now, one last thing to be aware of with this. If you have your camera's focus mode set to S, right? Not M, but S. And you decide to zoom in to check your focus. Boom, just like that, okay? And let's say you want to refine your focus a little bit. You want to make an adjustment to your focus. I'm starting to turn the focus ring. Look at this. Nothing's happening. That's because I am in single autofocus mode. And to make sure that the camera allows you to get that focus manually, right? If you're in single autofocus mode, simply press halfway down on the shutter release just like this now rotate the ring and you have control over your focus you see that now remember if you're gonna go through with it and actually take the shot and you've just refined your focus manually right by turning the focus ring and you're in single autofocus mode don't let up on the shutter release. Instead, make your adjustment while you're holding down in the shutter release and when you're ready to take the shot just press the rest of the way down like this. Okay, I think that wraps it up for today on the double tap focus trick. Because we still have a few minutes and I'm not ready to let you go yet, I wanna share with you a story about YouTuber Aaron Anderson and a practical joke he played on me right when I was beginning this channel. I was a subscriber of his and we were going back and forth a little bit in the comments and that was about the extent of it. However, one day he put out a video that absolutely flipped me out. This was his original opener. I am now playing his video. Check it out. I'm gonna go celebrate with my family. Take it easy.
Okay. Hold on. I'm very, I'm really nervous right now. Okay, check this out. Right now I'm doing the show from my friend Chris. Now he has a YouTube channel called pal to tech and he does all his recording down here in his studio in the basement. I'm so nervous right now. Now here's the thing is we've never met in person. We've only just met through like YouTube and emails and stuff. So if, if they caught me down here, they would like completely think I'm a weirdo. They're, they're upstairs. Hold on. They're leaving the house. And the cool thing is, is he left everything recording, which is cool. My favorite lens of all time is the Sony Zeiss 55 millimeter F 1.8, right? But the more I, oh, they left, left some snacks, popcorn. Mm. Can you believe that? I was blown away. I freaked out when I saw that. I actually ran upstairs. I grabbed my kids. I put his channel on our TV and I showed them. They thought he was really there. They thought he actually was still there. Right? I mean, they freaked out. And when I saw it, you know, seeing a, a YouTuber put that out, I mean, and, and what he did, what he did was obviously he found footage where I was gone, right? Okay, so he took a screen grab of that where I wasn't in the shot. He put it on some kind of chroma key screen, but the way he did it was so perfect. And Aaron has been such a great supporter of this channel. I don't know if I would still be doing this if it wasn't for Aaron kind of giving me that encouragement early on that I needed. So if you have any time at all, go check out his channel because he took a long break from YouTube. Now, Aaron is not perfect, okay? He's a, a Sony user, but he did use Fuji before that, <laughs> right? So he's doing videos on Sony and they're very helpful. So go check his channel out. I will have a link in the description below. Aaron, as always, you're awesome. In the meantime, I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will be signing off now. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in another video next week. Take care.